We are back and it's time to feed the chickens. Let's go. outside with the chickens and we have one two three four five six seven eight, seven chickens unless there's some inside um we have a let me set this down a nice big outdoor enclosed pen that's the side of our chicken shed they do have a window they have a pool that needs to be cleaned there's their ramp to inside so they do get to come outside and enjoy the nice air they're not always inside um we have this because their wings are not clipped, um, which means it can fly. They usually choose not to. They just run or jump or hop away. Um, but they can fly if they learned how to. Um, they've just been inside their whole life, so they have no reason to fly away because there's no predators for them. Um, we also have two ducks, my duckies. Um, that is Dr. Crackers, who's going to run away from me. And Bill is over in the corner being loud like he always is. Bill is gray. Bottling away. Um, we use our chickens for eggs. Um, we have had them for about six years now, so they're kind of starting to slow down. Um, so they don't lay as many eggs, which is kind of sad. But at one point, we had way too many eggs that we were giving them away for free because what are we supposed to do with about eight dozen eggs? We don't eat that many, but um, the food I just gave them is their scratch. We give that to them outside. Um, they can come out and eat it whenever. It's corn and oats and like, that's kind of what it looks like, but it's mainly just like ground up corn and oats and stuff. Um, then they just scratch around in it and they can eat it all day long. Um, we give this to them a few times a week, so not always. They do have special layer feed that we give them inside. Um, that helps them get the protein and nutrients for their eggs. Um, so when we give that to them and they eat that, it helps them have better eggs. Um, it helps them lay better. It just helps them out and whatnot. Um, so the pool in the corner, um, that's for the ducks because ducks are messy. And their water pails inside are usually about half full. Um, I told you Bill was loud. Um, so we have a little bath out here for them, which they like to splash in all the time and get as wet and as muddy and dirty as possible. Um, they do like to pick on the chickens sometimes. So you just see them like if the chicken's eating something and they're like, hey, don't eat that. They'll go up to them and eat it. Um, when it rains, it's kind of fun to come out here too because the worms, as you know, worms come up from the ground when it rains um, and they're, they're like scavengers, so they'll eat all the bugs. They eat flies and moths and worms and ants and like anything that they can find. Um, it's really funny to watch them eat flies because they will run around the inside just trying to eat the flies. Dr. Quacker is having a heyday, I don't know why. He's doing some weird stuff. Probably want some water because his pool is empty. His pool is all dry. It hasn't rained in a few days. Um, yeah, they just kind of walk around and chill. They're not super friendly. Like, I can grab one and pick it up. But here she's scratching for some. You'll see her. They kick around to get what they want. Hi. Let's see if she'll come up to me. No. They're laying down in the sun. They like to do that a lot. Um, just relax. It's a nice day. It's about 75 degrees out today. So they've been sitting out here, laying out here almost all day. So it's nice. But yeah, we use our chickens for eggs. You can get chickens for meat, um, which we haven't done in a few years. Um, at one point in time, my grandpa who used to live here and used the same chicken barn, he raised chickens, ducks, geese, turkeys, quail, I think, and pheasants, I believe. And we have incubators in a different shed 
And at one point in time, we used to incubate eggs. Um, that's when you take the eggs from the chickens and you put them in a heater and then they hatch from there. Um, these chickens have never laid a chick in their life. Um, they are specifically eating eggs, so they are not fertilized. That is why we don't have any baby chicks. So that's some fun stuff about chickens. Um, now we'll see if we can follow some around. They're kind of just tanning today, but I'll see if I can get the ducks running around or something. So. So I refilled their water and I cleaned all the mud out of the bottom because there's a bunch of dried mud in there. Um, but as you can see, Bill is trying to like clean himself. Um, the water, it must not be warm enough for them to get in because normally they'll both sit in there and do it. But right now Bill is just taking um, like mouthfuls of water and rubbing down his feathers. Um, Dr. Quackers is finding leaves. Yeah, they also eat leaves and grass. They love grass. Um, I don't think there's any around the pen that I can grab. Um, I don't know, I'm still kind of waiting. He might hop in their um, dish, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then everyone else is just kind of out here chilling. He's chilling in the doorway. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that they don't lay eggs outside here. Um, they lay them inside. There is um, a bunch of hay on the ground that they sleep on. They will take their feet and they'll scratch it back up into like a circle and do a nest. And then they'll take turns sitting on it. So like one chicken will lay one egg in that spot and then another chicken will lay two eggs. And then they just kind of take turns like sitting on them, keeping them warm. Um, but, and we also do have, um, it's a metal box with holes in. Um, trying to think of the term that it would be called, but I can't. Um, and it's got bars across it so they can just fly up there, jump in. There's nice new fresh hay and feathers. They take some of their feathers out when they shed sometimes. Um, and they'll use that as bedding or nesting material. Um, and then I go in usually once or twice a week and take the eggs because um, we don't get that many enough to take them every day. Um, at one point we did have to go in there almost twice a day and take eggs because that's how many they would lay. We have lost a few chickens throughout the years because um, we used to have 15 or 16, I think, and now we're only down to like seven. Um, but yeah, so they have all that stuff inside. There's a nice heat lamp to keep them warm. Um, there's two of them and they have a whole big, so they have from that corner to there all inside and outside so they love running around and chasing each other like i said the ducks are kind of picking on them every once in a while it's not like bad um like i said if they're just eating food and the ducks are like hey i want that they just kind of go up and peck them and the chickens walk away they're fine so but those are my chickens so hope you have fun next we will be talking about the horse we are in the chicken barn and we just got 16 chicks. So I have their pen all set up. This is their pen, they have food, water. The reason that they're in a pool is because they're still baby yet. They got hay, a nice warm heat lamp. They're in the box currently. They have fence around them because chickens have a pecking order. So if we put just put them in with the little ones, or the big ones, in with the little ones, like just let them go, the big ones will peck them, and they'll pick on them, and they will pretty much not let them do anything, so they won't last very long. So that's why, until they get bigger, they are going to be in this pool. So I will tell you their names as I unbox them. Let's go. little babies um they are layers so in about 18 weeks they will start laying eggs let's see let's see who this guy is this is hamlet he's got white wings don't go in the water 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 there we go that is hamlet this is shadow he's got white tipped wings i'll set you over here little guy i know i know this is corny he also has white tip wings go down this one is oh what was his name he 
trying to think of what his name was. I don't know right now, but we'll get back to him. Oh, that's um Nugget. This guy is Crispy. And this one is Bo. So there are our six little babies. We have Hamlet, Crispy, Nugget, Bo, Shadow. And now I forgot what I said the other one was. But they have food, water, nice heat lamp. And in 18 weeks, they will be. Hello, everyone. We are back with Rosie. If she behaves, we'll see. Um, she is. Um, her color is a red roan. I'm not entirely sure how old she is because we got her from neighbors. Um, she's a retired barrel racer. Um, the family that we got her from, they had four girls and they all had a bunch of horses. So she's really chill. We have had her for about eight years or so. Um, but right now, she's not wanting to cooperate because we're outside um, of her pen. Um, so she wants to eat grass. But right now, she is shedding. Hi. She is shedding a lot, so I have hair all over me. It's fantastic. Um, we're gonna give her a treat later too, but she doesn't eat a whole lot. We give her some special food in the morning and at night. Um, she has had issues in the past with hay and stuff, so she doesn't get much hay anymore. Um, she's not sick or anything. It's just she like reacts to it differently. Um, but yeah, there's not much to her. I'll show you her. So I get to brush her and brush all of this off. So she's nice and pretty. It is all over her pen. But right now she's just enjoying the grass. Hopefully she doesn't spook. But she loves walks. Let's see if I can get her to walk. Come on. We love walking around. She loves to try and run in front of me. But there's the ducks. We're working on it. This is actually my sister's horse, my older sister's horse, but she is in college and she just got a really good job on a ranch up in North Dakota, so she's moving. So I have gotten the privilege to take care of Rosie for the past few years and here again in the summer. Um, like I said, she loves to walk. She doesn't get out much. But we're gonna work on that this summer. See if I can get her around again and then we'll give her an apple because she's, here we go. She loves apples. Okay, let me stop it. Let me turn it for you, goof. Well, yeah, she'll take your fingers off. Here, have some more. Pheasant in our backyard. Get that seed out of there. Don't go, don't drop it. Yeah. Keep that part. Oh, yeah, you make it. Out. Kato's coming to see what she's eating. Yeah, I could go. They're usually pretty chill with the dogs. There's times where they scare her. You want more? So she's gotten spooked from them before. Her nose is super soft. That's probably the softest spot on any horse, is their nose. But. Oh, almost at a piece. My fingers are gonna get taken off pretty soon here. So we'll just give that to her. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. This is Cash. He is also my older sister's dog. Um, we do not know what kind of dog he is. We got him from the shelter, so we don't know how old he is. But he loves the farm. Yes. Yes, he does. He gets along very well with Cato and Chester, our other two dogs. Um, he is super skittish though because he was just, oop, oop. You're okay, buddy. 
Nice. He's super skittish because he came from like a town, like they trapped him. So he's a rescue dog, um, but he's gotten better over the years. Um, he is only like a foot tall. He's so cute. He thinks he's top dog. He's not. We have had Chester for the longest. We've had him since 2013, so he's almost, he'll be seven in November. Um, and then Kato, my dog, will be four in June. Um, and she is a Great Dane. Chester is a Black Lab Pointer mix. Um, we had a Black Lab Pointer earlier, um, or a few years ago, I guess. Um, and he passed away. We had him for I don't even know how many years. He's great. Front guard, we're on the front steps. Protecting us all from the neighbor who's in the field. Oh, she loves this. This is my dog, Kato. She's a Great Dane, purebred. I don't know where Chester's at. She loves to run. Come here. She's also a big baby. Oh, we found her pig. She's very spoiled and mom gets all these toys for her. She's got a ton more in her room, in my room. Here, we'll see if she'll do tricks. Sit. Sit, shake. She shakes very well. Stay. Good girl. Okay, come get it. Come get it. Go get it. She is still a puppy at heart and it's adorable. Maybe she doesn't hit me in the face again. But she loves her pig. It's definitely her favorite. And she teases the other two with it. She'll go right up next to him and wiggle it in their face. Oh, okay. That was very effortless, Kate. Um, but she's been out in the front yard all morning. Um, our neighbor is in the field, so she barks at him when he comes up and turns around. Come here. So, she'll probably start barking pretty soon. And I don't know where Chester's at, but he's here somewhere. We'll find him. Chester has this old piece of rug that he loves to fight for. Does not. Nope. Every once in a while, he'll get away with it. But for the most part, they just fight for it. Thank you guys for letting me show you my farm. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. I'm I'm willing to answer anything to the best of my ability, and if not, I can look it up or something. I, I can find out anything for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too much of me just talking. So thank you guys. I miss you guys all so much and I wish I was there with everyone. So bye, have a great day you guys.